what was the what was, what's been the toughest scene for you to get your head around to be able to do? At this mm. point, you can, I'm sure you can do all of them very easily. You've been really doing it. Yeah. But what was the <laughs> toughest one that gave you the most fear? That gave me the most fear, I would say, the final scene with between Rosa and her mother mm -hmm. uh, when she's in the wedding dress. Not to spoil anything. Um, <laughs> but, you know, I, I think as an actor, I can be very, you know, quick moving and frenetic and shaking my legs and shaking my hands. And uh, Marissa really helped to kind of ground me and it took a lot of time for me to get grounded in that scene and be able to uh, have let Rosa evolve because the play primarily takes place over one day mm -hmm. and from the beginning of that day and to the end of that day she changes a lot yeah. and so uh, I was definitely had a, I had a lot of trepidation about that scene because I wanted to show her maturity and the, the fact that she is ready to go on to this next phase of her life but at the same time she's still a teenager and she's still angry at her mother and she still has angst but she also has an endless love for her mother like all girls do for their mothers that will never cease to exist I mean it, it's it's constantly there even in the moments of anger and so finding the colors in that scene was was definitely a challenge but every night it gets it gets a little easier she also um she wants her man <laughs> she she wants a man yeah. so bad. She really does. It is um one of the like very hilarious aspects of Tennessee Williams plays, which is everybody is really sex starved in his plays. Yes. Uh including Marissa and including your I mean, just having those two juxtaposed together totally. is very is very funny. I mean, uh, I really think Rosa's like a mirror to Serafina because it's yeah. she is just on the cusp of becoming a woman and she wants to go have sex and get married and do all of these things that, I mean, it's hard to be a woman now and to be, you know, a, a, a sexually free woman now. So in the 50s in the South, for a 15-year-old girl, it was even more difficult. And so I... A very strict Sicilian right. Catholic family. Especially after her father died and, you know, these Sicilian women were expected to become uh, closed off from the world mm -hmm. once their husband dies. They're supposed to wear black and have all these practices. And Rose's refusal to do that is a rebellion against her life thus far. But also, I think one of the amazing things about the play is that it is about uh, women becoming more sexually free. And, you know, whether they learn that when they're 15 or after they've had a 15 year old child and it's much later in life after a marriage, uh, it's really important. And that's one of the greatest things about this play to me is that um, just the exploration of women and nuanced women and layered women that aren't just one thing because I feel like a lot of times for girls and especially teenage girls roles are just sexual or they're just innocent uh, and they can't be intelligent and sexual and innocent and also crazy crazy and right. and wild yeah. uh, I mean one of the great yeah. things about Tennessee Williams is women and I think specifically Serafina in this as well is that they he is trying to deconstruct a person who is in the midst of a breakdown, who is crazy, and how the trappings of the world that they live in at that time have caused that breakdown in Completely. a lot of ways. Completely. Yeah.